Hi, and welcome to the second week of this class. Um, I'm very excited of having students with such a diverse backgrounds and experiences. Um, I expect that some students will find some chapters easier than others more challenging as we move from the basics to the applications of microbiology. Um, some comments reading your uh, uh, week one postings, I'm, I'm really happy to see the enthusiasm that, that you have by, you know, the many new findings in, in the field. Um, two notes of caution. One is that be sure to go back to the original source if, if you are reading a news article, because journalists often will drum up a title, which is, you know, very, um, to catch the attention. But uh, sometimes what it says, it do doesn't really uh, correspond to the actual scientific findings. So that is uh, pretty common. The other thing is that um, often, and th this is not for this particular discussion board, just in general, that, you know, wait for the scientific process of, of replicating and confirming the data. And uh, a pretty uh, recent example of a, uh, a finding that wasn't as... Uh, real as it seemed to be was the um, claim and this was actually supported by NASA that um, there are there were bacteria from Mono Lake in California that were able to incorporate arsenic instead of phosphorus into DNA and um, you know that was that made big headlines like okay here's another the arsenic based life and so on well it turned out that several groups um, tried unsuccessfully to to replicate those um, experiments and uh, currently the, the consensus is that it was a an experimental uh, error basically so the media they they used with arsenic actually contained trace amounts of phosphorus which was enough for the bacteria to you know survive so um, um, moving on so next week we are going to to cover a very important chapter which is the microbial structures and um, most of the material will be on prokaryotes and particularly bacteria you know the gram positive and the gram negative cell wall we are also going to touch on virus structures and, and talk a little bit about eukaryotes and um, you know as everything in biology structure corresponds to function so you you will see how really some of these structures are very typical of certain microbes and they correspond very closely so to how these microbes behave or what the functions are. So uh, this is something that uh, you will see over and over We're referring back to, to these chapters in these structures. So um, next week is also the beginning of your first assignment, which is your favorite microbe. So again, when you are researching your favorite microbe, this next week you will have a posting about the structure or structural characteristics of that microbe. Just be sure that you, you know, you really describe those uh, structural features that directly correspond to a certain function of this microbe. Um, another thing is that this is this this course is more you know like general microbiology, so we are not going to to cover in depth the molecular biology uh, of microbes. However, I, I I notice that many of you have experience in in molecular biology, and there are certain microbes that have very um, uh, special. Um, genetic characteristics, for example, certain protozoans have two nuclei, or some of them have four or two types of nuclei, the macro and the micronucleus, and, and, and other uh, special features. So if um, my molecular biology is your interest, or you have expertise, and this is something that really um, is interesting for you, feel free to, to you know, present that in your, uh, uh, in your posting next week. Um, and, and related to the expert, expertise, I'm, I'm really grateful for any uh, insight you bring to this class. You know, microbiology is very vast in this course. We, we try to give you a broad picture of microbiology, but, you know, I, I know more certain uh, aspects, but not all of them. So whatever insight you have, it's welcome. So um, uh, that's for today, that's for next week. Uh, please remember to fill out that uh, weekly survey, especially in the beginning, it really helps me to, um, you know, take care of, um, of, of any issues that, uh, 
that can come up so it's uh, it's useful for all of us so with this i uh, thank you again i really enjoyed reading your um, your postings and you have a wonderful uh, week two next week thank you